All right, here's our second video in pre-calculus, our second video called composite functions, and some people might say composing functions. So we'll say both of them. Basically, in simple terms, it's when you take two functions, I'll write it down here, like f of x and g of x. So let's just say we had, we had f of x, and we had another function, g of x, and you want to put them together. You're going to generate a new function, and we'll generate generate a new function. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to generate a new function. That's what composite functions are. And you'll see this symbol, like we'll have f, and then you'll have an open circle, g, right? and we'll have that in closed parentheses, and then we'll have x. So it's not fog. It's just that open circle, not a closed circle, because when you see a closed circle, that's multiplication. So we're not doing that. We're doing this. I'll explain that. So let's get a clean page. All right. Let's say we had, let's say we had f of x equals x squared minus six, and then we had g of x equals three x. And then you saw something like this. You say g had this O there, right? Open circle, F. So this is different if it was F first. It's G first. In other words, we're going to take the G, and we want to know, we're going to replace it with F of X. I'll explain that. So we know that the G is 3, and instead of using X, we're going to use f of x right there so it'll be three and in parentheses we'll have x squared minus six because that's what f of x is it says it right here we have the g and then we have f of x so if we distribute this we're going to have three x squared minus 18. so when we compose using f of x and g of x with g first we're going to get this answer Let's do another one so you get the hang of it. Clear that out. So what if we had, let's say f of x equals 3x plus 4, and g of x equals x squared minus 7. And you saw this. You saw f, the open circle, g of x. And this would mean now we would have f of g of x. So what do you think? How do we do this? So we have f, right? We have 3, because there's the f of x. And then instead of using x, we're going to replace the x with g of x. And what's g of x? It's right over here, right? So we'll replace that. Be x squared minus 7. Don't forget the 4 had the four. So we're just replacing the x with whatever g of x is. Then this distribute. What'd you get? You're gonna have 3x squared minus 21 plus 4. And again we're not completely done. It'll be 3x squared minus 17. Alright, getting the hang of it? Alright, let's try one more. Change the color to white. And let's see if you can do this yourself. What if we had, you know, f of x equals x plus 2, and then g of x, let's say it was, uh, let's say 3x. Now, you don't know what to do now, now right? Because I didn't give you full question, right? Because I could have had g first. But if I said f, open circle, g, right? So we want to use the f first, right? <laughs> So in other words, we're saying f g of x. But what if I said, what is, what would this question be? What would be f g of 5? How would we do that? What do you think? Same concept. Well, first of all, let's find out what this is. All right, so if we say we're going to replace the x in f of x over here, with 3x. So it's just going to be, we'll just have 3x 
plus 2. And then over here it says x is 5, g of 5. So we're going to say 3 times 5 plus 2. We'll have 15 plus 2. We'll get 17. There it is. Got our answer. All right. That's composite functions.